Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Your surge is here, and tonight I'm going to talk about uh, how important it is to use YouTube videos uh, with your students uh, and how to teach them weather vocabulary and generally to talk about weather. Uh, and it's pretty convenient to use YouTube videos uh, because uh, you're teaching your students natural speech. It's authentic material, and for example, you're teaching about the weather, of course, you can first give your students some books to learn from, like uh, like this word-by-word -word picture dictionary that I just opened up. Uh, so this is a very good uh, thing that helps your students learn the vocabulary because it has the description of all possible weather conditions and stuff and has the thermometer with two scales, Fahrenheit and Celsius. Uh, so you learn that and then you can also stick some stuff to your real-time board like uh, this weather vocabulary or uh, teach them how to say temperature and even uh, give them some words about la different landscapes and post some pictures and have your students describe them. But there is nothing as important as to teach your students natural speech. Like I'm teaching my students American English and so what I do is I find a YouTube video maybe one minute long. They don't need to be very long and you uh, just let your student listen to it and if the student is not very advanced you just listen to it. You turn it on for uh, several seconds. Your student listens to a sentence and then he uh, tries to understand what was said there and you together uh, just talk general about what was said and uh, uh, grammatically and uh, lexically analyze everything that was said. For example, in this video. Good Monday morning, Good Monday morning everyone. No big changes, changes in the overall, in the overall snow, snow forecast. forecast. Snow is now snow moving, is now into, moving northern into northern Montana. Montana. So, uh, you, like the anchor says something, and then you analyze it with your student. So, uh, the anchor just said that the snow is moving into northern Montana. And uh, you, uh, you make your student uh, write down, for example, in the Skype chat, the sentence that the anchor used. And if the student got it right, it's okay. If the student didn't get it, then you... Uh, uh, then you try to uh, analyze this and see where your student got it wrong and you explain things like different th things like Montana that it's a state in the United States and where it's at but it actually shows this on the map so you turn it on sentence by sentence and uh, this way when your student hears n native speech he's gonna have a better uh, a better opportunity to learn to uh, discern words and to hear words properly and to understand things better because in native fluent speech there are a lot of things like you know words when they come together and uh, there are different situations that can can have uh, some hardship for understanding for your student uh, so by listening to YouTube videos you make it a lot easier for them uh, so you do it in little uh, snippets like this uh, it's, it's going, going to, spread to spread south, south as, we, as go we go through the day, the day and we'll see. see. Especially right now, the anchor said south, and an American diphthong ow is a, is a challenging thing for many uh, non-native spe speakers because for some it sounds the initial uh, vowel sound ah that the diphthong consists of. It sounds like ah, like some, uh, to some students it sounds like self or another word and you have your student write down what he heard and when the student makes a mistake in writing stuff down then you uh, you help your student understand you tell him what the anger really said and you analyze uh, phon uh, the phonetical and uh, vocabulary uh, peculiarities of American English and so after uh, work on such a video that is only a minute long it's already a great help for your students so maybe not at every lesson but once in a while you can do such work with your student and it definitely is gonna increase the way they understand American English so this was your surge uh, thank you for listening to me thank you for your attention see you next time goodbye